Hey everyone, it's the Ultimate Troll again, and I have a video for you that's going to help you through some of the most mundane part of this game, and that's grinding, crafting XP. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be creating a macro so I can get XP for Scout by crafting tents. Now, you can take this macro and you could adjust it for any type of crafting profession. Armorsmith, Weaponsmith, Engineer, doesn't matter. The first thing that we're going to do is set up our toolbar by moving all of our crafting stations up there. Second, we're going to bring up our craft schematics and figure out which thing we're going to craft. Up at the top, we're going to call each crafting macro separately, sequentially, in practice mode for XP. We're not actually going to be crafting the actual item for our inventory, but just for XP purposes. And then once we level and get something else that's bigger and higher XP, I'm going to go into how you change the macro with a new draft schematic. All right, so here we are in feed. First thing that we want to do, change our toolbar, fresh toolbar. We want to drag all of our crafting tools up into that toolbar. Starting at toolbar slot zero, zero, going all the way to toolbar slot zero. Next, what we want to do is bring up our dump macro. Macro, in case anything, pop it up there. Go hit control D and bring up your draft schematic. See that the basic camp kit is the zero zero slots. So test this by bringing up a crafting tool. Select craft schematic zero zero. Works. So now we're going to back out. Say if I wanted to pick adhesive mesh, cycle through and count. The last one is craft schematic zero nine. So verify that. Put that in. There it is. So we know that craft schematic is zero zero. Cover this in another video know how to do that it's part of the option so right now we're going to create a macro to verify that it works as call it craft xp so the first thing that we want to do is ui action toolbar slot zero that's the number up where it says zero zero after that we're going to do select draft schematic zero zero is our basic hint following that do Five second pause. This is where we're going to be. I'm going to do next crafting stage twice. I use copy and paste. Cover that in another video. Next command is create prototype practice no item. Do that twice. Now, if you want your items that you're crafting to show up in your inventory, take out that practice no item and your inventory will start to. Move. So we're going to drag that up into a toolbar and we're going to practice sure that it works. So it brings up crafting station, we clicked our resources, it worked. Bring up the inventory, and once the crafting stage is done after uh, eight seconds of craft time, we want to nothing that's going to show up. So we know everything is So the next thing that we want to do is go and make sure that it does four of the crafting things and loops it. We're going to open up the same macro that we just created we're going to select it, copy it, and paste it. But the thing that we do after we paste it, we're going to change toolbar slot that it executes. So it goes from 0, 0, 0, 1, which is the we have four crafting stations. So we're going to do it from 0, 0, 0, 3. So we have that all done. We're going to go down and then loop it by typing in slash M and Craft XP. Okay. Close out this and execute. We do that. Crafting tool. Select our resources. And it brings up the second one. Select our resources again. Keeps on going through. On the third one right now. In the fourth one. You can see the timer it counting down. Did loop back. Go bar slot zero zero. Boom. Macro's done. You're gonna just keep on doing this, clicking your resources until you level up. But this time, I'm going to fast forward. And after we fast forward me crafting, I actually have to craft Two different boxes, box number one and box number two, so I could get another type of schematic that I can craft. Cover that in one second.
Now that I've crafted to survival two, gives me the multi-person. I bring my data pad. I see it's a new one. So we know that the other mesh zero nine. This one would be one zero. So like draft schematic one zero. Confirm that this is the multi-person. We're gonna exit out, and then we're gonna bring up our macro. Ole, edit. Our macro, where we had select draft schematic zero zero for the basic camp kit, we're gonna change that to multi-person camp kit, which is select draft schematic. So I'm gonna go through, change this about the entire macro. All four things are now calling multi-person camp. And then I'm gonna go up on the macro, cycle through, just like it did on the one when we we're creating the basic camp kits, but now I'm going to craft multi-person camp. So what I was talking about earlier when at the beginning of the video, this works for anything, any type of crafting profession. But you have to make sure that confirm drafts commit. There's a certain way to do that, and I cover that in another video in the options. Uh, which I believe is auto sort data pad. You want to unclick that because you don't want it to auto sort. You want it to be um, sequential. That way, when you're going through, you're not guessing. You can count like draft schematic zero zero, and you know it's that first slot or tenth item, which is zero nine, because it starts with zero zero. That's how it works. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. Crafting difficult, but hopefully this will take some of the monotony out of it, some of the extra clicking that you have to do. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.